this playoff series. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. Game four set to go tonight. Ah! Opening faceoff is just seconds away. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. in the defensive end. Moves the puck. Moves it quickly over to Granlin. Oh, look at the pass! Biddington's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Shen. And a great heads-up defensive play here. Moves it to Cece. Denied by the goaltender. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Takes the puck at the point. Here's a short pass to Fulk. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Shot! Denies him! No corner given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Great four check by Saad. Passes it over to Sederland. The Sharks looking against the half wall. Moves it to the middle. He scores! What a goal! Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. The Sharks have to be feeling good about themselves. They have been pushing and pushing to start this one. James, they're emotionally charged as they're at home, they're playing their opponent, and they started right from puck drop, and that emotion was transferred or channeled into their feet because they've been all over the ice with their legs under them. Monster saved by Bennington. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Quick feed to Letty. Straight up the middle. Here they come. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. Oh, did he ever rock him in the open ice? Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Oh, look at this. Quick pass to Wimper. Turned aside with a glove by Bennington. and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Goodrow's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. And that kick trying to shake the defender all alone. Oh, beautiful save in the play. And you've got to love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. Still lots of time left in the period. The Sharks lead it 1-0. The Blues win it. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Poked away in the neutral zone. Centering feed, and that's stopped. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Goodrose won the draw, and they're on the attack. Comes up with the stop. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Goodrow's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Takes that pass back to the point. The Blues take it across the line. 
San Jose, he's got the puck. Great pressure to force the turnover by Boots David. Great hand dive on the goaltender, poking it away. St. Louis has possession of it now. And he loses control here. The Sharks pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Shot! Too many bodies in the way. And somehow he hangs on. Granlin's determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance, really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass through to the shooter. And now it's over to Eklund. Quick shot! Close save! Quick reflexes! Past the midway mark of the frame, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Shens won the draw here in their own zone. Passes it to Saad. Here's a shot, and that goes off a player in front. Moves it quickly over to Toffoli. Steps into the offensive end. Grabbed along the board by Toffoli. And that's stopped by the goaltender. Great save to stay with it. Slides the puck across to Shen. The Sharks take possession in the defensive end. San Jose has got a hold of the puck. Moves it to Toffoli. And he feeds it down to Granlin. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Slides it across to Broberg. That's just a great heads up read at center ice. St. Louis looks to move the puck from their own end. Sends it across. Receives the pass. Nowhere for that shot to go through. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Tried to get 2-Q with it and loses possession. And makes the save. Sends it quickly to Sundquist. The Blues carry it along the wall. San Jose is looking to break out of their own end. Couture's lugging the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Moves it to Benning. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Steps across the blue line. Lays the body into that play. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. The goaltender, they have to have talent. They have to have mobility. They have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. last save was absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. Shuts him down. Vanacek's able to get to position and negate that dangerous slot shot. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Moves it in front, and it's blocked. The Blues have it now. Saucer pass across. with the stick in the defensive zone. The Sharks move it in. Rocks him on the play. Buchnevich has got it along the boards. Shot! Oh, what a close save there! The Sharks have created a lot of scoring chances so far, and they lead it late in this first period. Thomas wins it in the offensive zone. First 20 minutes of play is in the books. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time.
The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. And with the puck dropped, we are now underway in period number two. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? James, there's been a ton of open-ended action and a lot of pace to this game. It's been real fast and entertaining. I'm surprised there's only one goal in this one. You gotta expect that it's gonna get blown open soon if this pace continues. Made the save on the play. Brutus taking it from his own end. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Let's see what the officials are calling. When you're down a goal, you can't generate any offense if you're short-handed. They're going to have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. San Jose sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the center. Tries to get the puck over to Torchenko. St. Louis has it against the half wall. The Sharks gain possession in their own end. And he takes the dish. From the point, looks to make something happen. Scooped up along the wall by Letty. And the play continues. Nice job to escape the zone. Slides it quickly to Kunin. Takes the feed. Inside the offensive and now down the left. Fires it on net. Oh, what a save in front. Biddington's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Holloway's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Great reach with the stick by Granlin. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. St. Louis plays the puck from the corner. Broken up by Couture. The Blues gain control of the puck. Answered the call there. Pareko's penalty is almost expired. And there's the whistle icing the call. Lots of time left in this period. San Jose's ahead, 1-0. The Sharks win the draw. Huge win by the center to give his team an opportunity to get out of the zone after a critical icing. Back into the top. Shuts it down with the paddle, what a stop. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. Goodrose won the faceoff. Slides the puck to Grunstrom. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Hard hit frees up the puck. Johnson for the puck, and it's knocked away. in this frame. The Sharks have taken a 1-0 lead. Goodrow's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Oh, one of his teammates is right in the shooting lane there. Here's an opportunity in front of the net. Here's a short pass to Ferraro. Puts it on net. Oh, a close save and a beauty. Face-off looming here. Let's see if they can maintain that offensive momentum. Well, you know that the defensive side is vulnerable right now with a tired tender. And on the offensive side, you've got to recognize... Score! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Uh, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks about players who can't get it done in the playoffs. And he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game.
certainly tell that the coach is not happy behind the bench after that last goal. He'll be preaching good habits and details. He doesn't like it right now. The Sharks are having themselves a night, wouldn't you say so far, Cheryl? Yeah, at the beginning of the second period here, and they're really maintaining the play. They're controlling it. They're not just on the perimeter. They're finding ways to get pucks to the net. And now it's grabbed by Pareko. And it's a quick pass to Crew. And the defenders come up with the puck. The Sharks have been picked. Oh, hold on, James. Looks like there's going to be a call right there. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. And coach is looking for an explanation here from the official. Yeah, I mean, he's getting the refs here because he wants to know why his team is being penalized more often and is clearly having a factor in the game. The Sharks send their men advantage unit out once more. Power plays more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame. And they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Faxa's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. San Jose's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Shuts him down. San Jose's got the puck behind the net. And that misses. Passes on over to Joseph. St. Louis on the attack. And that's intercepted by Eklund. Slides it on over to Sederlin. Handles the pass. The goalie's best friend comes up. And he scores! They have been on fire offensively. The Blues win the draw. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Good use of the body on the play. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Bennington. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Some great thievery in the open ice. Taken along the wall by Wallman. Takes the feed up ahead. And he slides it quickly to Wallman. Puck moved over to Grundstrom. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. And oh, a spectacular save! Unbelievable! I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. The Sharks will be tough to beat tonight if they continue to play the way they have been. Really active in the offensive zone. Slides the puck ahead to Shen. Directs it on over to Joseph. Puck picked up by Shen. Quick feed to Toffoli. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Quick pass to Cece. 
The Sharks win it from the corner. There's another for the hit parade. The Blues gain possession. They've got numbers here. Fires it. Stopped by the goaltender. The Sharks have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. The Blues take possession here inside the offensive zone. Let's it fly! And the lane's clogged up blocking that. The Blues look to start the transition game. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. The Blues have it in the offensive zone. Slides the puck to Winberg. San Jose's had a fantastic night all the way around, and when you feel this way, you're confident, you're playing with puck possession, you're distributing it the way you want. All lines are contributing. This is a nice feel as they head to the intermission. And now he moves it quickly to Coonan. Makes his presence known on the ice. Dumps the puck in. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Picked up along the wall by Buchnevich. And he slides it quickly to Torpchenko. And now he passes it to Letty. St. Louis plays it against the boards. Moves it quickly over to Vlasic. Great use of the stick at center by Falk. Moves it over to Torpchenko. Moves it to Sundqvist. Takes a shot. And he comes up with it. The Blues have it from their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Slides the puck across to Neighbors. Play whistle dead offside the call. San Jose's had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they continue to lead here late in period number two. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. Loses the coverage there. Slides the pass over to Sitterland. The Sharks gain the zone. Handles it along the blue line. Big save just as time runs out. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. and then they can call this one a win. Kyrou is going to play it against the half wall. And a quick save on that one. The Sharks have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. And they win the faceoff and set up to go on the attack. The Sharks will play it in their own end. The Blues take possession here in the open ice. What a collision there, and that frees up a little room. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Shen. Here's a short pass to Toffoli. Shot! Love save made by Bennington. The Sharks lead it here early in the third period. They have been dominant in the offensive area. Couture's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Looking to set up offensively. Now a quick pass to Torpchenko. 
Here's a chance! Oh my goodness, it's stayed out! What a save! It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Handles the pass from the right wing. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Sends the pass over. And now he moves it to Sederlin. Play is called for offside. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Sharks are in cruise control, leading it 3-0. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Loses his balance on the play. Couture's got it in the defensive end. Here's a chance! Oh, he comes up with a stop as he got the glove on it! The Sharks have a significant lead here in the third period. They have brought their A game tonight. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Great read to break up the play! Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Bennington! Well, you know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. The Sharks have been relentless in the offensive zone tonight, and they continue to lead in the third. Winbert's won the face-off, and now let's see what they can do. Quick feed to Kairou. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. San Jose's got the puck in their own end. Quick pass to Coonan. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Oh, what a great glove save on the play! Still lots of time left in the period. The Sharks have dominated this one to this point. They lead it 3-0. Winbert's won the draw, and they're on the attack. From the open ice, they gain the line. To his teammate. Oh, a good heads-up play with the poke check. Closes the gap along the wall. Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're physical, and they know how to retrieve Fox. And man, can they just... Scores! for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Toffoli's got it in the offensive zone. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. St. Louis takes hold of the puck. Takes a shot. Oh, a clutch save. Poked away in the offensive zone by Joseph. Toffoli stick handling in his own zone. And he sends it across to Granlin. To the front! The Blues take possession in the defensive end. Picked up along the boards by Toffoli. Passes out front! And he denies that great opportunity there. The Sharks have shown no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big. San Jose's got the puck inside the offensive zone. From the slot, this shot scores! Deuces Wild has that to second of the game! Well, he's got two challenges on the score sheet, James, but I love this game off the puck as well. I think that he's had a hard nose on the board check. He's hounded it, he's hunted it, and guess what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. Imposed their will on their opponent. 
And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. San Jose is looking to break out. Moves it quickly over to Couture. Here they come inside the neutral zone. And that's poked away by Pareko. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Krug. And they continue to apply pressure here. And a great save. Comes up with the steal. Strong defensive effort. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Sundquist. And he serves it across to Krug. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. working on reaction time all the time. Why? For shots like this, you just have to react. It's instincts that make the save. More than half the frame has been played here. The Sharks have recently extended their lead, and it is a blowout. San Jose sliding the puck behind the net. And it's a quick pass to CeCe. Here's a shot, and he stamps that one with the gloves. The Sharks are in the home stretch of this one here in the third period and lead by a wide margin. San Jose is going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Here's the shot, and he comes up with the club save. The Sharks know that their goaltender is sitting on a shutout right now. They've done everything they can to push the play to the outside and give an opportunity to the tender to get that big fat zero. The scoreboard is going to show it at the end of the game. San Jose has been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the center and tied him up. And it goes off a stick. Scooped up along the wall by Letty. Kairou's got the puck along the wing. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. Kairou's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on his stick. Denies him on the play! And he takes the pass. They go on the attack through center. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Shot! Makes the save of the slapper! The Sharks will play from the defensive zone. Tosses it to Granlin. Here's a short pass to Eklund. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner.
much, and that's exactly what happened. Large and in charge, the tender was tonight. Well, we certainly had a great time tonight, everybody in the broadcast crew as well, and from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski wishing you a safe and healthy night, and we'll see you down the road again soon.